What is up YouTube? How's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to another series. In this video series, we're going to be looking into using the Kiwi uh, GUI toolkit, which is a Python toolkit. And using this Python toolkit, we're going to be looking into few advanced concepts like uh, for this video, for example, we're going to be looking into creating a camera object. So how do you take a user camera in your application, take a selfie, save this, video, uh, save this uh, selfie image into your uh, file system? That's what we're going to be finding out in this video. So let's get this video started straight away. All right, so first of all, for this video, we need two things importantly. In your system, you should have Python 3.5 plus installed. As well as the Kiwi installed as part of your uh, system, I'm not going to go over all those things. As part of the Python Kiwi basics, I have covered all of that. So if you're interested, take a look at that. So first of all, I'm going to be creating a main.py file where you're going to write all the code. And uh, first of all, for us as, as part of this application, the goal is to have a camera ob object on top, meaning that the user should be able to see what the picture they are taking and a button in the bottom which when clicked it's going to save the uh, user's photo as a selfie.png or maybe some kind of a uh, image format so first of all what you need is to in, uh, have few import statements and the first one is going to be from kiwi.app we're going to be importing the uh, app as app class followed by that from kiwi.uix uh, we're going to be using the camera uh, pack file package and from that we're going to import the camera object or the camera class all right so we have the camera uh, class in, uh, imported all right so we have camera class in uh, imported next one we're going to import is the kiwi.uix.box layout because it's a very simple layout and we can just uh, arrange our camera as well as a button uh, one below the other or sites so that's very easy to see, use our application so let's move on we will also import the button as well and uh, the import statements are completed all right let's create our first class i'm going to be calling it as the selfie camera app and we're going to uh, inherit the app itself you're going to override the build method i'm going to be using some or writing some code into that and we'll go and write our main as well selfie dot of uh, run and awesome so our basic structure is completed so what is the goal like i said we need to have a camera on top and once the camera is created we should have a button on the side and when i click this button the camera should be able to save my image uh, as an output right so first what we need is to use the camera object and let me create a camera object right here i'll just say camera object is equal to uh, I'll just instantiating the camera class. So the couple of things inside camera is that the first thing by default, there is a state called as play, which is set to true, meaning that when you open your camera, you'll be seeing the re real time feed, right? Like the hardware of the camera is going to send real time feed. And if you want that to be playing, you should set it to true. By default, it is set to true. If you set it to false, it's just going to give you a static image. And only when you set it to true, the real time feed is going to come in. The second thing is that you can actually set the camera objects resolution um, by just saying uh, you should just pass a tuple to that. I'm going to be passing a tuple of 800 comma 800 because I want it to be a little bit bigger. I want it to be a little bit bigger. So we have created our camera object. All right, moving on. Let's now create a button. And this button is going to be again a button object. And it's just going to instantiate the button. And say this button, I'm going to be passing the text as uh, click me or click here so that when the user clicks on this button, uh, they're able to take uh, maybe a selfie. Also, right, button is created. We need to uh, adjust a little bit like the post position hint and the size hint. Let me adjust the position hint as probably uh, 0.5 comma 0.2. Let's see how it looks on the UI. Followed by the size hint, I would like to keep the size as um, 0.25, 0 0.25, right? Because I think that's pretty much uh, what the entire box is going to open. As soon as the layout opens, that's what the entire going to be. All right, so we we have created the def build one simple mistake I just move it inside the build i've just created outside form all right so now layout has to be created and inside the layout i'm just going to say layout is equal to uh, box layout off and uh, box layout i just have created the box layout and i'm just going to say layout dot add widget and the first widget is going to be the camera widget obviously uh, the camera object and the second widget is going to be the uh, button object so we just need to return the layout and our basic structure is completed. So what we've done is created a camera object, 
created a button object, added both of these objects to the layout and have written the layout. Basically, our entire work is done. But now here comes the tricky part. We need to add the uh, callback or we need to say when the user clicks this button, just take a selfie and so store it into my into my file system. So what for that I'm going to do is that we already know that for button, there is a bind object that takes care of doing that work. So I just bind of, I just say on press, just do this work. I'm going to be creating a method. Let's call it as maybe uh, take selfie method or uh, take selfie. And this method is going to be created right here. Take selfie, right? Just pass the augs in that because yeah, it's going to be passed. All right, so on press is going to take selfie. And in the take selfie, I'm just going to say the camera object is going to shoot export the uh, image or export the uh, that specific moment of time into a png so how is it possible so if you see here the camera object will have a method called as export to png now can i do that right here yes i can do that right here but if i want to do it right inside this method it will not be able to access this object right what can i do i can either pass the camera object as part of this take selfie method or i can just set this to a class variable I just set this to class variable because it seems the uh, seems to have the easier way out right at this point of time and doesn't also make much of a sense to pass an entire object as part of a uh, as part of a callback method. All right, so bind is done. We have it, we have said that export it to a PNG. It is saying that it I need to pass a file name. I'll now say dot slash selfie dot PNG. Remember that this is a specific method to be exported only to a PNG. So don't use a JPG or something like that here. If you want to create it or save it as a separate file or a different file other than PNG, you have export as an image where you can pass the args and coax and you can just uh, specify what the, the file type should be. All right, now let's also print something like uh, I am taking a selfie so that we know if this callback is fired or not. All right, time to uh, run this application to see what is really happening. Let's add, all right, let's run it here. And uh, is my, all right, it's throwing some error. Oh, all right, I think I missed. All right, I made a very simple mistake. I swapped the size int and post int. The size int takes a tuple, the position hint takes a in dictionary. My mistake, let's run it again. This time it should work fine. All right, so here you, here you see my application is fired up. So basically you can see me talking, you can see me adjust my hair and things like that. And when I take this, when I click this, it is also saying I'm taking a selfie. And as you can see, a selfie.png file is created. Awesome, right? So. I have taken a selfie, I have created a camera application, I have used the camera application to take a selfie uh, using Kiwi Toolkit, probably in less than 30 lines of code, I guess. And uh, that's basically how you create your entire application. All right, so this that's, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. Uh, if you did find it informative, you know what to do, smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos. So this was a very basic introduction to the advanced tutorial itself. In the upcoming videos, we're gonna be looking into few other complex things like OpenGL and shaders and things like that and how Kiwi uses all of that uh, as part of creating an application. So if you're interested to look at all of those content, stay subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's Bharat. Peace out. Have a super awesome day.